What is going on guys? My name is Damien. Welcome back. Bringing you a bonus video for The Flash Season 2, talking about Barry and Iris. I know a lot of you guys are curious as to where they stand with their relationship. You're also curious as to what I think about it. So I'm going to do my best to give you guys some clarity and put you at ease if you're a West Allen shipper because you really have nothing to worry about. The only thing I will say is that you will have to wait a little bit longer for your inevitable relationship status of Barry and Iris. But aside from that, the relationship is secure. This is not Arrow. This is a very different show. They are doing things, for the most part, in a direction that follows the comics, whether it be just slightly off path or within range, but they are there. They understand the goal. They were planning these things since the beginning of the show. So let's get right into it. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. I know a lot of you guys are disappointed because they finally had their official kiss and then he goes back in time and it's all erased. So, Barry and Iris, no matter what, are going to be Endgame. I find it interesting that people actually still ship Barry and Caitlin, or any other Barry and anyone, for that matter, because there's just no chance for any of those characters. But Barry and Iris have just been linked in the comics for, for so long, and I know that it's painful to to endure when you're watching a TV show. Like, with a comic, you can easily quit, you know, you can get through, like, if you start reading comics now, you'd be feeling that that change of the Barry and Iris relationship, but you'd quickly be able to just keep reading and get caught up and be like, hey, they're together. Sweet. Everyone's happy. Whereas with the show, now we have to wait an entire summer, wait for the the Comic-Con trailers to roll out, season three to start, for him to undo his change, for him to undo the changes that he made. So that's really what it's going to come down to. As far as Barry and Iris are concerned, you guys, like I said, have nothing to worry about. You're just going to take, you're just going to have to be a little bit more patient because what's going to happen is that Barry is going to realize just how how much he's altered the future. And he's going to have to run back in time again once he recreates the accident, gives himself the power of the Flash. Because to explain this, what'll happen when he makes this change, the change that he made in the season two finale, when that change is officially done and season three picks up, he is going to be back in the present and he'll realize that this present is not the present that he left. And he has, he no longer has the powers of the Flash. I expect it to actually start off with him and Eobarthon not having Flash powers. They're not going to have the Speed Force. That's how I expect them to play it out. But when he really realizes just how different things are, and a lot of people are saying, well, it's going to be kind of hard for them to do Flashpoint because, you know, they don't have Batman, they don't have Wonder Woman, they don't have these other characters introduced for that specific story arc. But they're doing the TV show's version of it. They're just honoring the comics. That's how you have to look at it. So they're choosing to pull from some of these storylines and to give people something really amazing and entertaining to watch. I think it would be unrealistic for us to expect them to pull off a Justice League-esque type of Flashpoint. It just doesn't make any sense. I think maybe sometime down the line, like the way Marvel's doing the Defenders team up, we can maybe hope for something like that. But right now, these shows, you have to look at them as basically laying the groundwork, kind of like the way Smallville did. So you can't really hold them to that much scrutiny when it comes to something like that. So they're going to do their version of Flashpoint, and it should be really cool. So what you'll expect to happen is that he'll come back, he'll see what the entire future looks like, he'll see how drastically everything has changed, and it could just be simple things. They could really just pull strictly from... The universe they've created so far for two seasons his relationship with with team flash overall is just so different like none of the characters he won't be as close with joe or iris like a lot of these things are really different because he never went to live with them once that change has, has, has been made he lived with his parents normally so he didn't grow up being as close to them yes they're still they still know each other and everything like that but there's a lot of changes there so they could also pull in some things from like arrow i know that uh, Stephen amell didn't mention that Barry's little change is not really going to affect the Arrow TV show as much, as well as probably DC's Legends of Tomorrow, which is understandable. It's going to be more contained for the most part, but how you'll see it, you'll see it like in some minor capacity on Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow. They're going to have to at least mention it and, and kind of acknowledge some of the minor adjustments that are being made on those shows. I, I, I expect the writers to at least write those TV shows with, with that in mind, just to kind of acknowledge the greater universe. So that's what you're going to expect. That's what you're going to see when you watch The Flash Season 3. It's going to be really, really bad. And what he'll have to do is run back in time after he recreates the, the accident, gives himself the, the speed force. 
he'll have to run back in time and stop himself, his season two self, from running back in time. And then he will save the the future that he had, the present that he had, that he knows and loves. Well, not necessarily loves, but he'll he'll have to come to grips with the fact that his mother needs to die. It's just it just needs to happen. The Flash is one of the most important characters in DC Comics. Some of the things that he's done are so connected to other characters, and this was one of those events, so his mother needs to stay dead. So, what does this mean for Barry and Iris? Well, once this happens, you're just going to have to endure possibly what I expect the Flashpoint storyline to run probably about six to ten episodes at the most. I think that it just depends how much they plan to do for the season as far as villains go and any kind of main developments for characters and doing the multiverse and stuff like that. As far as that goes, it just really is going to depend when they start releasing trailers. But you have nothing to worry about. Once the Flashpoint storyline has concluded and he reverts things back to the way they were at the end of season two, right after the Barry and Iris kiss, that's where he'll pick up. He'll pick up right there. So it'll just be them kind of continuing that. Maybe that'll happen. They'll have the mid-season finale, and then it'll just kind of be him changing things back, and then it just kind of picks up the second half of the season. It's going to be like crossovers, the the four-episode crossover with Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and, and so on, and you have that, and then Barry and Iris can have their scenes together and do their usual. I fully expect them to be dating next season at some point, or at least having that, or at least continuing their relationship from where it is. I really like them. I can't wait to see more of them. And it's interesting because the way these characters, the way the Barry and Iris character, the characters are written, they're just, they're woven so well. It's like you have this, this little, this thread and they're connected in every way possible like think of it as a huge web and the center of it is just Barry and Iris there's so much that they could really do with these two characters so yeah I mean it's not going to be as bad as as some of you guys think but yes you will feel the slow burn as you guys have been calling it a little bit longer probably for another (laughs) 11 12 episodes so we'll see but that's just my take on it for season three there's really only so much that they can actually put as obstacles in front of these characters before they finally come together. What you guys have to remember is that these characters, especially the Flash, and as focusing on his character, none of these characters are actually in their prime. They're not the best versions of themselves yet. So whatever they plan on doing, these characters, Flash, Arrow, you know, Supergirl, all these other characters that they're trying to introduce and keep connected in a universe they all have to go through these trials and they have to learn from it and then you kind of get to that honeymoon phase and that's what i know is hard for a lot of people because you guys have to remember the flash is probably going to be on for about seven seasons they're trying to keep this show around for a long time it's a really really good show it's the the big flagship of the cw it's the number one rated show on the cw the ratings are the best it's better than every other arrow continues to decline because of you know oliver felicity and all that so that that show is pretty much done and you have the flash like they have to depend on this show because this is the show that drives like if if you look if you look at the youtube views the the ratings the reviews per episode you know the the fact that it follows a lot of the the canon like storylines like they're they're keeping things in a canon universe and there's there's a lot of people that will will actually give their opinion who read comics or write comics and they'll say yeah you know the flash not following it 100% but we can't expect that It's a great show. Highly recommend. You won't see that with Arrow anymore. So this is the show they're going to have for a while. So fully expect Barry and Iris. I expect a wedding at some point if they actually keep the show going long enough. They will be married. I just don't. I think that if they if they keep the show on long enough, you can realistically expect it. So West Allen is safe for the future. You guys have nothing to worry about. I can't wait to see what they do. I can't wait to see more scenes with them. And I can't wait to see where they take the Flash character. So my name is Damien. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this was helpful in providing some clarity. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Share the video. And I will see you guys in another video. Probably ranting about Arrow. See you guys later.